Hey folks, hacking this and that back again. Uh, this time I want to do a quick console tips and tricks. Um, I see a number of people in the Discord channels uh, asking about how do I get the details about the hotspot that handled my data packet. Um, and surprisingly, this actually does happen almost all the time, depending on your integration. Uh, I'm going to say on what I've done so far with HTTP and MQTT integrations, it passes through. Um, it just comes in as additional metadata to the packet. Uh, you don't have to do anything to your decoder um, to make that happen. So uh, here's what I want to show you. It's what I call the webhook integration. Uh, so this is a standard HTTP integration. Um, I just happen to have called it webhook. And it uses this tool called webhook.site. And I will include a link uh, in the description in case you missed that detail. Um, you just go there and it generates a unique endpoint that you copy and paste into your integration. Don't worry about headers. Don't worry about parameters. This is the only thing you need. Where do you want the data to go? Uh, once you've set that up, you go over to your flows. And here you see I've got my LHT65 sensor in a group and my LHT65 decoder and connected to webhook. Uh, now, um, this is going to give it a little personal. Uh, so I will be masking out some details just to hide the fact of where I am. Um, not that I would invite you over for a beer, but I'd like to know you're coming first. Um, so this is the site. It's been running for a while, as you can tell. And this is the raw content of the payload that gets pushed in an HTTP request. So the first thing you see here is my app my DC balance, uh, and my decoded payload. This is coming out of my decoder. So I'm grabbing battery level, which you can get out of the LHT65s, the actual battery voltage, the external sensor that I have connected. Uh, in this case, it is a temp sensor, the humidity reading from the actual uh, sensor itself, the temperature of the probe, which is currently reading 23.31 degrees because it is freaking hot outside and I've got my AC going, uh, so it's quite comfortable in the house. And then my actual temperature inside the sensor itself, which is run off an SHT20 uh, temperature sensor, which is reading just shy of 24 degrees, which ironically is what my thermostat is currently set at. Uh, you also get this uh, status success then we get into a little bit of sort of how did we get this information? So the device EUI, device address, downlink URL. Again, this is generated by console, passed through in each payload to tell the integration how to downlink back to um, the device. Then we get into the actual hotspot information. What channel did it come in on? What frequency? Uh, hold time I'm not familiar with. I'll trust that you can dig into that. Um, the ID, latitude, longitude, the name of the hotspot, the timestamp, RSSI, SNR, spread factor, status, all of that stuff. I'm going to flip over here just to jump down to the bottom half of this information where we get into a little more metadata. Uh, this will tell you that the ADR uh, profile was not enabled. The CF list profile was enabled. Um, any labels that I've applied to the sensor, which is in this case the LHT65, uh, your org ID. Uh, did I have preferred hotspots enabled, which I didn't do not. Um, my RX delay time, again, these are all established in console. Then the actual name of the device, the raw payload, size, the port number it came in. Uh, all of this great information available at your fingertips just simply create a endpoint at webhook.site, put in an HTTP integration, connect the dots in your flow and fire off an event and you'll be able to see all of this information coming through. Now, where do you go with that? 
this depends on how geeky you want to get in your setup and your configuration. Um, I'm currently playing around with uh, MQTT, Node-RED, InfluxDB, uh, plotting the temperatures of my sensors and all my hotspots. So the MQTT payload, very much the same thing. I can parse that out in Node-RED, record that information. Uh, guys like Neil, BFG Neil, um, a little more savvy in the in the coding department than I am, uh, would turn around and laugh at me for using MQTT as a middleware between the uh, console and Node-RED, because Node-RED you can set up uh, an HTTP listen service and just do the same thing we did exactly here to Webhook. Eventually I may give that a try. Right now I've got a smooth flow that I'm like working with. Uh, the other thing with MQTT that I like is it does give you a buffer between console and your application that's listening. Um, but uh, I'll, I'll say it comes down to style and preference. So depending on your skill level, your style of preference, etc., you know, you can choose how you want to push it. But this is the payload that you have access to so you can get the information you want. If I had multi buy on, uh, you would have found that this list of hotspots would have included the additional hotspots that uh, you bought the data from as well. So this is the tip. Uh, hope it helps. Like I said, a lot of this information people have been asking for, not realizing that it's actually in the payload. Uh, you just need to know how to parse it out, and that's going to depend a little on your tool. Um, but like I said, MQTT, Node-RED if you want, um, because it's what I call zero code or color by number coding, uh, is a great way to get started and pulling this apart. Hope that helps. Uh, again, I'm available on Discord if you're looking for any uh, tips, suggestions, Q&A. Um, happy to help. Um, but until then, good luck with your project and have a great day.